Alright, so checking out the only subreddit where Brian Griffin is considered one of the sexiest characters in the furry fandom. It's r slash furry IRL. More Brian Griffin, damn it. Play dating sims, because lonely fantasy only makes reality more painful. And here lies the secret to every furry visual novel success. A success that banks off the loneliness of every sad bastard that decided that it was a good idea to read it while their life is slowly crumbling away from them. I should know, because I myself is a sad lonely bastard and reading visual novels is exactly the kind of masochism that I subscribe to. Hey, what you doing with that bed, huh? Gonna hit me? Better make it count, make it hurt. Better kill me one shot. And in tonight's top stories, a furry has been bludgeoned to death last night. Witnesses state that the furry was allegedly taunting the armed assailant, egging him on into hitting him with all his might. The assailant in question is now in custody and is facing charges of murder with a weapon. In his defense, he claims that he was dared to do it, and at the time, he thought that it was such a good idea to go through with it. I'm Cookboss88 with tonight's top stories. Hello little gay people in my computer. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, big hyena with the big handfuls of boobies. How is your day today? Was it good? Was it as good as playing with your rack? May I play with your rack is what I'm trying to say here. Give me those boobs, daddy. Mm. Fursona concentrate. After all, why not? Why not turn into my fursona? Society won't approve. I'm already cringe, so who cares? You remember that post a while back? The one where uh, you would possibly get kidnapped by Area 51 workers because all of a sudden you turned into an anthropomorphic animal for no reason? Perhaps it's not society that you should fear when you turn into your persona. It's the people at Area 51, or better yet, the people at the SCP community. Whether or not they exist, you should fear them if you suddenly wake up as a dog or a bear or a cat after wishing that you were your fursona uh, the day before. Because in society, you may find some allies, but with the SCP community, everyone is your enemy. Hello everyone, I is wearing a helmet. Greetings, fellow guardians. Here is I, Big Booby Polar Bear. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're working here. Big bear, big biceps, big smile, hella floof, big bouncing honkers. Yep, checks out. This this is this is in fact peak husband shaped. This boy is shaped like a freaking husband and I want him. I'm a hundred percent straight. Mm, really? Are you sure? However <laughs> Why you gotta lie, bro? Why you gotta lie about what you want? You gotta own it, bro. You gotta own being attracted to all of these good boys on here. Because if you're lying to everyone, you're just basically lying to yourself. Why would you want that for yourself? Come on now. Be true. Be true to yourself. It's not gay if you swallow the evidence. The evidence. <laughs> oh, that poor Eevee. All he wants in life is to evolve into a majestic Vaporeon. All those dreams will now turn into dust when he gets eaten by a Pokemon that looks like it could haunt my wet dreams. Because god freaking damn it, that's that's one thick Zacian. God damn. Is this a Zacian? I don't know. I, I'm too focused at his really thick legs. God damn. Gitch the Protogen says, Every second you spend not running, I'm getting closer. Oh, is that right? You're gonna do something bad to me? That's a lot of shit talk for a guy that can be taken out by a super squirter. Get your ass out of here, you android knockoff looking bastard. This is my persona. His name is Mort, and he is a war criminal. Hello, King Julian! <laughs> I have turned into a fursuit, King Julian! I have committed several war crimes for this farm, King Julian! There is nothing to keep me from you now, King Julian! Let me taste those toes, King Julian!
Hello! War is actually sometimes scientifically possible, however, there is no animal capable of truly voring a human, at least that we discovered. Until next time, yeah. <laughs> I got news flash for you then. Uh, there have been animals that have successfully vored an entire human being. It wasn't possible, impossible, okay? It wasn't impossible, but it was difficult. There were accounts of it happening. One was of a sperm whale that swallowed a sailor. Miraculously, the sailor survived. He was cut out of the animal's stomach eight, uh, 16 hours later. And the other one is by a crocodile. There is a video of it. Uh, the person sadly did not make it. I have been to Live Leak a few times. You do not want to go there. Furries be calling Fox as basic and then have a persona like this. Ooh, goddamn. You know, I personally never found Brian Griffin to be physically attractive at all. His singing voice is okay, considering he's voiced by Seth MacFarlane, and Seth MacFarlane is like, you know, the modern day Frank Sinatra, you know? But I can bet that if Brian looked anything like this from the very start of the goddamn show, you would probably would probably see more yif of Brian Griffin on E621. I, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, do it. Please, come on. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You remember all those times where your mom asks you to turn off the lights when no one is using it? This. This is the reason why. This is the reason. You don't want Switch Coon to stay turned on at long intervals or he'll develop an addiction to sex. You do not want that. And that brings us to the end of our slash furry IRL. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Coffee. My coffee link is in the description below. And don't forget to check me out on TikTok. The links are provided for you in the description below. This has been your fellow degenerate cook boss 88 and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Stay foxy, much love.